Howdy folks, I'm out here in the workshop and working on a fun project. Just wanted to do a quick video here. So first things first, I know a lot of you out there know that I'm a member of the Cigar Box Nation. That's a uh, handmade musical instrument uh, bunch of uh, crazies. And there's a contributor there named Brian Q. And he has, he definitely has electronics knowledge as you know do I, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that uh, you know, I've built all kinds of effects pedals and synthesizer parts and whatnot. Well, anyway, he recently posted a few blog entries there. I think it's actually three entries where he explored the idea of using an LM386 as a distortion, as a dirt box. And if you're wondering, okay, what's an LM386? That is a integrated circuit, a little IC chip that is an audio amplifier. And it's used in a lot of little, you know, battery powered guitar amps. Like this might have one in it. I don't know for sure, but like something like this might have one. But it's also used in other applications where you might take like, you know, a signal from an iPod or something and, and amplify it. It's just, it's an audio amplifier. Um, but he basically said, you know, maybe I can turn this into a dirt box. So he prototyped it and posted the schematics and stuff. And he asked that I not repost the schematics. So I'm not gonna put them on the screen right now, but I will say I took his design and I did this to it. <laughs> so I made it into a dead bug. A dead bug is when you take an IC and you flip it upside down. So all the uh, prongs are sticking up. And so it's been dead bugged. And uh, then I built it. Here it is right here. Here is, it's ugly. It's not pretty. Remember the, the tiny jar of fuzz? How ugly that was? This is even uglier. So here it is. You can maybe see there, there's the IC there. And I just kind of soldered everything around. And uh, here's the circuit. So we're gonna test it out. But uh, what's funny is while, while I was building this, <coughs> excuse me while I was building this my wife came out and she had this box right here which is a cheese box from some fancy cheese that she got and she's like hey could you use this for something I was like yep I'm gonna use it for this pedal I'm building right now so I'm gonna see if I can get it into this box so let's see if we can work that out and we'll see what this thing sounds like we'll see if uh, Brian was on the right track okay here we go it's the the cheese box the uh, the cheese box of dirt I don't know what we're gonna call this thing yet but uh, you can see here, I even put a little knob on there. But what I did, this box is like some kind of um, oak tag or like some thicker paper. So I just kind of notched it. I don't know if you can see that on both sides. So it would slide right in there. And there's all of our components just sitting in there. If we can get that where the light is. There we go. All the components are just kind of sitting in there. And uh, let's get this thing. Let me grab a guitar and an amp. And let's see if it works. I think there's like, you know... A solid there's a solid 30 percent chance i did it correctly <laughs> all right let's try out the cheese box okay guys i grabbed the uh little six string with slotty guitar kit that i built a little while back the one i call the hot rod guitar got her plugged in there's the clean tone okay got her all plugged up here and uh i'm gonna set the cheese box down over here bring the volume up on the guitar <coughs> excuse me you can hear there's some hum so it might just be a noisy circuit or that could be gr bad grounding by me or maybe not maybe it's just noisy circuit so let's see what we get here Woo! we got dirt yeah all right So Brian Q's theory was correct. You can make a dirt box out of an LM386. And my theory was correct. You can dead bug one of them and build it into a cheese canister. Why not? Hey, if you like what I do on this channel, guys, go ahead and subscribe. This winter, I'm going to be having some giveaways. So make sure you subscribe because it's only going to be available to, to subscribers. I'm going to give away several instruments this winter. But anyway, hey, guys, it's the next morning. And I just wanted a real quick follow up for you. Last night after I made the video, I was taking everything apart and this happened. The uh, cheese box ripped when I unplugged the jack. So clearly it's not heavy enough to work. So I just kind of said, I'll deal with it in the morning. I got up this morning and I was making coffee and I saw a jar 
or whatever this is, a little uh, plastic can in the recycle bin and I grabbed it. I was like, oh my gosh, that's perfect. So now we have the little can of dirt. And if you look here, it works perfect. You can see the circuit through there and the jacks and our pod up on top. So it has a new home. It's the uh, little can of dirt and it fits very nicely with the tiny jar of fuzz. Here they are together. They're friends.